evening and welcome to Minehead Lighthouse in County Waterford. joining me again as I journey around Ireland uh, to photograph uh, the different lighthouses that we have along our coast. I'm here in Minehead in County Waterford, East Waterford, between Dungarvan and Ardmore to photograph the Minehead Lighthouse. It's not one of the more popular lighthouses or visited lighthouses in Ireland. In fact, I would say it's nearly the least visited lighthouse in Ireland. One of the main reasons for this is it's to be found right off the beaten track uh, at the very end of a warren of narrow little side roads and boreens and tracks that eventually lead to this particular lighthouse. It's in the Gaeltic region of East Waterford uh, near uh, on Rhine and on Shan Fogel. Um, another reason that it hasn't been photographed an awful lot is because it's not one of Ireland's most beautiful lighthouses, though it does have the distinction of being the lighthouse that is on the highest cliff on mainland Ireland. Today I've arrived and uh, the conditions are, well, very sunny, probably not ideal for photography. Maybe later as the sun is going down, uh, there'll be a, a better colour in the sky. Uh, very little clouds here today and um, obviously that's going to restrict what type of 
uh, photography I do um, I'm not going to be doing some long exposures because obviously no clouds so therefore we're not going to get any action in the sky and likewise we're quite a distance up from the cliffs so doing any like, long exposures there is well superfluous really um, what I will do is just show you a few different shots that you can take in the lead into the actual lighthouse itself and we'll have a look at some of the cliffs, see how high they are, see are there any vantage points along to the right or to the left. But I would say, just like I've said in many of the other vlogs, be very careful. All grand here. <coughs> Excuse me. But when I get closer to the actual cliff sides itself, to try and get some kind of a, a photograph um, along that area, it, it will be quite dangerous. First shot I'm set up here, um, maybe about 50 yards or 50 meters in from the gate. Um, like a lot of Ireland's lighthouses, um, mine head has uh, lovely walls that they built years ago. And they, as I said in Galley Head, they, lead, they, well, they, they act as great lead-in lines. Once again, and I'll show you now, I have the actual uh, lead-in lines. Now they're not going directly to the actual lighthouse. What they're doing is just drifting left of the lighthouse and I have the lighthouse out to the right, which I'm quite happy with because it's in the right-hand third of my frame. Um, some might say that the actual leading lines are drifting or taking me away from the lighthouse and taking me out of the picture, but I can do little or nothing about those particular walls and leading lines now. But I do like it myself as they, they lead you into the actual lighthouse itself. In the minute I'm going to go to a position where I'll be able to actually uh, take a shot um, which will have um, the lines leading directly down to the lighthouse and past the lighthouse keeper's houses. Okay, what am I doing here? Well, I have... Um, I have a, a, a polarizer on first off, nothing else. Uh, it's pointless putting up any grads in my opinion. Um, what you can do is actually put the grads in afterwards, be it in Photoshop or be it in uh, Camera Raw or Lightroom. Um, point is putting in grads, all it's going to do is make the, the sky, the blue in the sky stronger. I can do that later if I need that. Um, I'm shooting, as I said, with the grad. I have F11, which is my probably my favourite f-stop. Um, I have ISO of 100. Again, I, I, I use that a lot. And finally, the, the light is still very bright, and I'm shooting at uh, one hundredth of a second. further uh, I've moved down maybe 100 150 meters um, down the road that's leading into the lighthouse I'll show you where I am now and as you can see <coughs> I have um, a shot uh, basically leading directly to the lighthouse just to the side of the lighthouse there um, I'm using at the moment um, I'm still on the Sony uh, 24 105 at 24 millimeters Again, I haven't changed, F11, 100th of a second, ISO 100, um, 
and I'm getting using these fantastic walls as lead-in lines uh, going practically right up to the lighthouse. Um, this time I've come to the uh, right hand side of the lighthouse um, as of yet we haven't actually seen the sea um, there are, the sea obviously is beyond the walls there I'm sure you might be able to hear it um, I've come this side because the Sun is behind me and I am shooting um, away from the Sun the lighthouse as I said uh, now has uh, a lovely hue about it and particularly as it's framed within the the, the, the blue uh, sky um, with a polarizer that'll make the sky very dark as I said earlier absolutely no need for any kind of a graduated filter on this one uh, and the, the whites of the actual lighthouse as mentioned earlier will begin to pop I have put it into um, portrait of um, portrait form again I won't be shooting here in a landscape because I'm close enough to the lighthouse and we give the the height and uh, the, the also the walls are leading lines for me uh, so I'll use those on my right hand side of the actual frame and the lighthouse will be just to the left hand side of the center of the frame To the far side of the lighthouse um, I'm now facing the Sun but thankfully only uh, an hour and 15 minutes before sunset well it's not that strong I'm hoping to try and use a 1635 uh, um, lens to try and fit the actual lighthouse and the Sun in I think I've succeeded in doing that uh, I'm bracketing the shot as well which means I'm taking three shots uh, of different um, exposures um, all together one after the other and then afterwards I can blend them to get the correct type of exposure uh, if I need it to be darker I can make it slightly darker if I need it to be uh, lighter I can make it lighter so if I was shooting for instance on one hundredth of a second well my base one will be a hundredth of a second and depending on uh, how I set it it might uh, the other um, the, the faster shot might be maybe one 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 hundred fiftieth of a second or one hundred sixtieth of a second, and the slower shot then maybe down as far as maybe one sixtieth of a second. Uh, I sometimes will use just one of the three shots depending on how they work out. In fact, many photographers do that, but uh, I may also blend the three together. 